My name is Paul André Le Rock. I was born and raised in a small fishing town called Newport, Eastern Province of Quebec, Canada. Professionally, I am an artist and, and a practicing photographer. I make my living as a photographer. That career has taken me to many places, and those images became the source material for my newest work, Pop. I've always been attracted to the pop art movement. I love to create festive, colorful and funny artworks. Today I do creative commission work for an international group of clients. My work is really personal. Even if I'm creating a series while in different cities, there is always something related to my childhood in my work. I, I wish when a, someone is looking at my artwork it's just to feel the joy and the happiness that I feel when I create my artworks and how I feel about the world because we can find joy and happiness everywhere. Even if it looks a little chaotic, it is not. It's just a multitude of things that attract me. It is a place where I can be in my own world and let my inner child have fun. A place where I can escape the world as it is. In fact, my work is very therapeutic. I wish the people can feel exactly what I feel while looking at my work, my world, making the viewers smile and have fun, because my first goal is to transmit my joy and happiness. I've never been able to accept the world as it is, I think. With a great imagination, I've always created my own world in my, in my mind, so I'm trying right now with the technology to recreate what I, what, what I got in my mind and I know it's not realistic but I'm trying to make it look realistic even if it's not. I traveled a lot for both work and pleasure and I'm still working a bit like a travel journalist and a graphic designer which is what I was doing for the magazine and the branding studios. From those travels and places the different themes emerge like Desert pop, beach pop, candy pop, fair pop. There may yet be other pops to be discovered, but these are the ones I've created so far. Like animal pops, people love their pets. It is always an enjoyable commission to be asked to create a pop for a person pets, usually their dogs. It's amazing. I used to choose the city for my articles, but now it's different. I think the places are choosing me. While traveling, I love to talk with locals. I'm talking with the people, the local people from the place where I am, and I'm asking them, like, what, what's, what is the best like, landmarks for you? I can find cool stuff to photograph everywhere. The cities, the rural towns, Fairs, convenience stores are choosing me. They talk to me. They remind me of my childhood. I love vintage, old vintage, like neon sign, uh, old cars, old garage. I just want to celebrate this era by just taking photographs of these things related to a city that I'm visiting. Over time, everything gets torn down. Something new gets built. The past gets forgotten. It, it is my want of sharing a joie de vivre. I usually paint over my photographs. The reason why I paint over the tornado's images is because of the emotions I feel when I'm photographing my object. I relate different colors to different emotions I feel. Everything has a different color. My emotions are real and strong and that's why my color palette is very fluorescent and vivid. By adding colors, I'm linking all the objects and emotions together to make my images stronger. It's like the murmuration phenomenon, when a bunch of birds are traveling together and creating a shape in the sky, it makes a very strong visual statement. The action of adding brush strokes is very instinctive. I'm just following my instant emotion and sometimes, yes, my, the painting can go out of the, uh, uh, of the frame uh, because I think sometimes uh, 
you cannot be always be stuck in a frame. You need to just let your I don't know, let, let, let your body move. It's, it's, like, it's, it's almost like a dance. For me, the painting brings an energy to the photographs. The objects already twirl and swirl through the image, but my brush strokes add unity and energy. What's next for me? We never know where inspiration will take us. There is already one image of an elderly lady selling fruit in Cartagena de India in Colombia. She looked at me with a huge, sincere smile and asked me to photograph her. Her happiness and beauty appealed to me and I decided to create a piece about her. More portrait may maybe next. There's lots of possibilities. I just need to think about it.